Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be revisiting the overpowered collector map. Now with this, I'm gonna go in more detail, a little bit slower, show everybody all the ins and outs about the map. A lot of people had a lot of questions. Some people were confused in some areas like that, so I'm gonna to try to help you guys out with it. Now, the reason I wanna revisit this map is because there's actually a collector glitch to where you can go and keep picking the same flowers over and over again. And doing so, you're gonna be able to make thousands of dollars a day if you grind this out. Now, first we're gonna go ahead and jump into the map and then we're gonna to get to the glitch. Now, I highly recommend you guys watch this video all the way from the beginning to the end. Now, instead of skipping through it, now I'm not trying to get you to watch the whole video just to be watching the whole video, but I am trying to get it to where you could actually use this and not have a whole lot of questions and not actually be able to utilize this as much as possible. So first, we're just gonna look at the map. Now, the map is gonna be in the description. There's gonna be a link for a PC version and a link for the mobile version. Now with it too, a lot of people are saying, you know, depending on their smartphone that there's some hashtags that were in the way, I'm going to remove those. But either way, you still have to look for the little white drop down so it shows the description under the video. If you're on a computer, it won't be no problem at all. But some people, some depending on your phone, some people are having trouble finding the little drop down arrow. This should make it a whole lot easier. Now let's go ahead and just jump into the map. Now this is gonna be the map, depending on which one you um, click on, they both look the same. Now at the top right, you can actually have a default that doesn't have so much detail. Then you can click where you have more detail and then you can click to where you can actually have a dark version. Dark version just kind of looks cool, but we're going to just go with the detailed one right now. Now each icon on here shows you exactly what stuff is. Now this one is actually a coin. Now with this, you can see it tells you you need a metal detector as you see this little magnet right here. Once you've got it done, you can actually remove it off your map. Like right here, this one here is actually an onyx ring. Same thing, you can tell you're gonna need a metal detector for it. And then right here beside it, it says day one. And you know, it'll show you what day you're actually on. Now with this, we know a lot of people know this, some people might not. When you go in areas, the collectibles are there, but then they disappear. And then you're like, well, crap, they were there yesterday. Well, they're on a three day cycle and every three days they respawn into different areas. Um, and then they'll return back to where they were previously. So this shows you this is day one. So you'll know in another two days, it'll be back in this location. And over here, you can see this one's a flower. Same thing, it tells you exactly what the flower is. The reason it's good about these actual descriptions is that you could single out things. If you're needing things for collections and stuff, you could kind of go around and find the stuff you need. You know, if you need a page of swords and stuff to finish out your collection, you can find them there. It just makes it a whole lot easier and stuff to where you can actually find the stuff fast. You don't have to kind of just fumble through things. Now, some of the fastest money you can do is actually the coins. So you can actually go through here and kind of map out a location where you just want to run through and get all the coins. So if you want to go from Thieves Landing, you can go over here to Armadillo, pick it up there, then go to Tumbleweed, and then you can fast travel over to, you know, Ansberg or something like that. So it'll really help you do that. You can get over $500 for a whole set of coins. So they're very uh, lucrative in their return. And then too, also they even have the alcohol bottles, they even have the eggs, everything is on here that you need to find. All of the collectibles, you don't have to buy any maps anymore from Madame Nazar. Now, I'm gonna get ready to show you here a glitch here in a second. And I know the glitch has been out there for a while, but I just wanna accompany this with this. And in the glitch before it said, hey, you can go ahead and buy maps from Madame Nazar for the flowers. Well, as you can see, you don't need them. All the flowers that are there for the day are here. Now, sometimes on this map, you're gonna still run across stuff that's not on here which is just an added bonus. But these are guarantees when you come in here. I've had multiple people do this and none of them has said, hey, there's not something here. As long as they're not on the wrong day, you know, they might be looking at something that they were doing the previous day, but as long as they're looking at this map the day of, everything's 100% has been coming out. Now, one last thing before we get into the glitch. When you do this, you want to get flowers, of course, is what the glitch is going to be. So you need to find areas where either one, you don't want to be griefed, and just say, pick a flower far off somewhere where you're not gonna think a lot of people are gonna be there, so you can just take your time and grind it out. Or like an area here where the Rio Bravo is, there's actually three different flowers right here. So you can actually do the glitch on all three of these, max them out and go sell them, and then come back and repeat it again. Instead of having to go to one flower, that's say maybe in Thieves Landing or another flower that's over in Blackwater, you could come here and just hit these three, go sell them, come back, hit these three, and go sell them again. So, all right, guys, as soon as you have the flower that you want to use, go ahead and just hit Eagle Eye. Of course, you know they show up with the gold sparkles or whatever the crap that actually is above it. So what you want to do is actually you want to make sure that you're ranked up enough. I think it's rank 11 as a collector. So you have the ability so your horse can actually pick uh, flowers and different things like that for you. You don't have to get off your horse. So make sure you have that unlocked. 
and once you're over top of it it'll have it to where it has square to actually for the horse to actually pick it now i'm doing this on ps4 so what you're going to do as soon as you go ahead and press square the horse is going to put his head down to actually pick it and when he does that you want to actually press triangle to jump off your horse so i'm going to do it real quick and show you and i'm going to jump off my horse and usually he always ties the horse down because I, if I don't hold the controller down enough, he won't get off the horse. But so right now you saw that he actually picked it. So we'll go ahead and get back on my horse. And what you'll want to do too here is also put a pin down. And I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to put a pin right about here. Now what you need to do is run away where you're far enough away to where the marker is out of your mini map. So I'm going to go ahead and run this way here and you'll see the marker actually disappear on the mini map. And now I'm going to go back around and we'll go back and you actually will see the actual flower spawn right back in. So there's no cuts or nothing here at all. Let me get up here. And you'll see the flowers here again. So all you got to do is repeat the process. So let me go ahead and just walk forward to it again. You'll see it will say, go ahead and pick it. And when you go ahead and pick it, go ahead and just get off your horse. And every time for me, he keeps tying him down because I always hold down on the triangle to make sure I get off the horse. And go ahead and just jump back on your horse. And let's go ahead and run away again. And as soon as it's out of the mini map, we'll turn back around. And you keep doing this over and over again. Just pick different flowers. So once you get your stack filled up, I think it's 10 that fills up all your uh, flowers for that kind. Go ahead and go ahead and just go sell them. And I'll show you, here it is again. It's unlimited basically. So we'll go over top of it. I'll show you this one last time, just so everybody can see. Turn it sideways so you can see the horse actually bend down. I'm getting off my horse as he's doing it. And now I'll go ahead and get back on the horse. And I'm just doing this a couple times in real time so you can see this actually works because I hate it when people do things like this and it's an edited video and it's like, crap, this doesn't work. All right, I'm out of the shot on the mini map. Swing back around. And as I'm getting over there, Eagle Eye, you can see it's back again. So not hard at all. With this, if you grind it out, you're going to make thousands of dollars easily every day. Now I just want to do a shout out to the founders of the Flower Glitch, Killia420 and Unfaded420. And then also too, I want to make sure to give credit to the map maker from Reddit, Gene Ropke. In the description of the video, like I said, there will be a PC and mobile version. So I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, I appreciate it. If you like and share this video with your friends. Also to subscribe, click the notification bell. So anytime videos come out, you get notified right away. As always guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.